Hey guys, I recently came across a pretty awesome third party YouTube app, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it. It's called Showtime, and as always, all the links are in my description, so if you like the look of it, you can go ahead and download it. And yeah, it's got a lot of cool features, even more than the stock YouTube app from Google, so let's go ahead and check it out. So once you load it up here, you can see it pretty much looks like YouTube. I should mention there is a free version and paid version. I am using the free version, as you can see this advert right here. If you use the paid version, I think it has something like it's two or three dollars. It gets rid of this advert and it also gives you an offline mode where I guess it allows you to download the video and watch it later. If you pull in from the left here, you've got your little sidebar. You can see my account. You've got favorites, subscriptions, uploads, playlists, some other stuff below that. We've got from YouTube, like trending, featured, top rated and most popular. Below that, you've got categories as well. You can see that offline mode there. That doesn't work because I'm using the free version and categories you've got comedy education entertainment and some other ones as well but if we um now this app i should mention isn't perfect if we go into channels i can kind of show you that you can see here these images to me look a little bit squashed up the aspect ratio doesn't quite look right it's not a big deal the pros far outweigh the cons and let me show you some of these pros so i'm just going to go into pocket now right here and you can see the uploads and playlists let's go into this video so you can see what it looks like when you're playing a video We'll just press pause so you can hear me talking instead of this guy. You've got the about section, so you've got your description under here. You can uh, thumbs up or thumbs down the video. You can subscribe and you can also check out the views and stuff like that. If you, sc if you uh, scroll from right to left here, you've got your comments. And this is what I really like about this app. You can actually directly reply to someone's comments. So let's say you want to reply to this guy. You just click his comment. It comes up with a little box. You can reply, press OK, and it will reply. That is an awesome feature, and I've wanted it for ages. Swiping over, you've got similar, and you've also got more from user. Now, what I wanted, wanted, to, uh, whoops, what I wanted to really show you is the multitasking and just how awesome this multitasking is so this guy's talking right here let's say i press this button in the bottom right hand corner it opens up this little pop-up window and you can go about doing whatever you want so you can go into different apps here you can check out and read different things you can open your whatsapp or messages or emails and send someone a message while still watching your youtube so it really makes your multitasking it takes it to another level I should say you've got some options here as well you can resize it here you can make it bigger smaller depending on what you want the button all the way to the left here if you can just about see that let, let me get out of this so you can kind of see it a little bit better we'll put it in the center of the screen that just opens the YouTube app again the next one is a little kind of audio button that mutes it no more sound the button after that gets rid of the vi video but actually keeps the audio playing and another cool feature, you can turn off the screen and it still plays. So you can listen to a music video or sort of music on YouTube and you can still listen to it while the screen is off. So you could have your headphones plugged in and use YouTube as your personal music player if you wanted to. If we load it back up, oops, you don't have to do that. You can actually scroll down. You can see pop-up player here. If you press that, the video comes back. Um, you can also make it full screen and when it's in pop-up mode and you make it full screen You'll see another little problem with the app here. It keeps the status bar here now. It's not a big deal But it's not exactly full screen completely. So let's open up the app When you're in the app the full screen does actually work like it normally should so I'm not quite sure why that is maybe the developer will fix that and Let me just show you something else. that's pretty awesome with this app I might as well do it like this because it's uh, easier to show you guys you can see this HD button in the bottom left hand corner you can actually change the resolution and I really like this so if you click HD you can see you can choose whoops you can choose uh, you got to do this kind of quickly 1080p 720p 480 so you can actually change the resolution straight from here and that is a really awesome feature I think so you can have 1080p if your display can handle it you can have 720p as well and it does look noticeably better on my display now there are also some other features if you uh, scroll from the right side you can see you can change the volume turn it up turn it down if you scroll from the left you can change the brightness now I'm using an auto brightness called Lux so it won't actually change the brightness for me we'll just turn this down from here quickly and if you double tap the screen you can actually change the aspect ratio of the video so you can see the aspect ratio is changing so it gives you a lot more options than the stock YouTube app and it does work really well. Probably my favorite feature is the pop-up play and then easily followed by replying to comments directly. I think that is a much needed feature. But yeah, again, it takes multitasking to a new level on Android. If we uh, open up the app here, we can go into the settings and check out what's in there. 
uh, settings. I'm sure there's stuff I've missed. You can mess around with the style so you can actually change the way it looks. You can see there's uh, loads of options in there. Video category, video resolution, so you can see what it default plays to straight away. You've got video aspect ratio as well, fit to screen is why I leave it to. You've also got some other stuff here like bookmark, how to open video links as well, open in pop-up mode or view video within the app. So let's say you uh, find a video link on a website, you click it, it'll open it up in the little player instead of opening up the full app. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this app. It's kind of rough around the edges, but the functionality is flawless and works really well. So definitely give it a shot. Peace out.